because I lost a daughter at the, about the same age, that's, I know what the parents feel like, okay? And you want justification. You want the guy behind bars. All of it's alleged that he even committed the murder. But uh, circumstantially, it looks like he did. You know, the strongest lead I see is that one of her friends said he had been in the Appalachian Mountains by himself for a couple months. Now, he's not just a camper then, he is a outdoorsman. So in order to do that, I think because of his age, he felt comfortable. If there's anywhere right now that looks the hottest, that could be the area. It all depends on the picture they got of him the other day where they're hunting now, if really that was him, no one has said that. If not, Appalachian Mountains is the best, but it covers several states. So where did he go in at? That's where you start your tracking point. From right when he went into the mountain with dogs, well, you, they've got so much infrared, I mean, they're gonna catch him. You know, I, the only reason I, I would doubt if he's in the swamp is they've been hunting it really good, okay? And I'm not sure that was him in the picture. You know, they was blurry, blah, 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 like kind of an old bank robbery picture, right? but you couldn't really tell if that was him. Now, if that was him 100%, he's in the swamp, okay? And then, so they tr he, he moves in the, in the night and he probably sleeps up in the day. Now, the FBI has ultraviolet light tracking. Remember the Boston bomber? How they found the kid in the boat when they went over and the tarp was over him? They've got that. So I'm sure they're using that to cover with drones I mean, he can't cover with mud. It's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. He can't cover with anything. He's gonna light up. You know, I don't think he went to New York or uh, there's been a couple rumors he might've went to Mexico. I've been to Mexico. So if he's down there wanted, a white boy that doesn't know Spanish, the cartel's gonna grab him for the reward. So no, he's not down there. You know, I don't think, who knows? I've had to eat my words before. Sounds like when they got into argument, she screamed a lot. Now, if he's out in that tent, your voice will go, what, two miles? And she's screaming, what if he put his hand over her mouth to shut her up and killed her? Or did he do it worse? It all depends. The autopsy report is out, I believe, how she died, okay? That's gonna be your murder uh, death penalty sentence. So, how do you say it could have been an accident? You know, the guy that uh, killed my daughter in, an ac in a car wreck, right? He passed too, but it was an accident. How do you say that? So, but right now we got to hunt him as a wanted fugitive. So the reason I went to Mr. Landry is because I carry a reputation with me. You see me every night on Pluto TV. The reputation is he gives you a second chance. He gonna get you, but he gives you a second chance. So I thought, wow, the dad's gonna, you know, see me and crack, and I know the kid knows me. Probably one of my fans. So I thought the dad would answer and talk. But I was very persistent without disturbing the peace and knocked a few times, so they saw it was me. And I didn't play nasty and put a copy of the warrant on their front door, none of that. I was very respectful. And the dad can still reach out to me through social media. Let's get the kid captured alive. Alive. My, we're, so the next step that I have is to, now we work off leads, okay? We don't have a crystal ball where we can say, oh, there's where he's at. Well, now we work off leads. Somebody knows something. Somebody else knows where he's at where they dropped him off at, or did they drop him off? That person is gonna call us. Because again, we're not the police. This is anonymous. We don't have to tell. We are willing to go to extreme measures to find him, whether it's in Mexico, I've got connections there, or anywhere. I think again that he's young enough, not an experienced criminal, but what is his greatest experience, okay? Outdoorsman. That's what he does the best. I don't think he can shoplift and live in the city and be on the run and you know, sleep at cheap hotels. I think that he is what's in his blood. He's in them hills.
On a one to 10, he's probably a six compared to the outdoors men and some of the guys that I've captured. Okay, those two New York guys, the one that killed the other guy was, we was 10 minutes behind him. That's good stuff. So not, this guy's not experienced like that. We get a scent of a trail. We get a scent, he's done. He's not gonna hide in the trees and dig a cave and all that. He's got a small tent, maybe a knife, cause he's gotta stay out in the open. Hope parents didn't give him anything else to protect himself. How's he eating? Gotta kill the game. So, you know, just don't walk up on him and say, hey, you're wanted, freeze.